From NBC 10 News and Rhode Island Public Radio, this is political coverage you trust. Welcome to a Decision 2014 debate, the Democratic race for treasurer of Rhode Island from Johnson & Wales Schneider Auditorium. NBC 10 political reporter, Bill Rapley. Good evening. This is uh, welcome to our Democratic primary debate between the candidates for general treasurer. This is the final televised debate before the primary next Tuesday, so we hope it's going to help Democratic voters make their choice. Now, I'd like to introduce the two candidates. On my left, we have Frank Caprio, who was a former state treasurer, uh, a st former state treasurer as well as a former state senator, and he was a candidate for governor in 2010. And to his left, Seth Magaziner, who is a vice president of a Boston-based investment firm, and this is his first run for elected office. Now, asking questions today, the panelists will be two of my colleagues from NBC10. We have Katie Davis and Parker Gavigan. But first, we'll start off. Oh, well, I'll tell you a little bit about the format. As we ask a question, each of the candidates will be able to respond, and then there's going to be a five-minute discussion period, so there can be a little bit of back and forth, and we may jump in if we feel that you're getting a little bit off topic or we want to press on any particular point. I'm basically a timekeeper. I'll have somebody in my ear telling me how much time each of you has had, and we'll try to keep that equal. At the end of the half hour, the candidates will each have two minutes for a closing statement. So let's start off. I'll ask a question, and we'll start with you, Mr. Caprio, and then, of course, uh, Mr. Magaziner, you can jump in. Why would you want to run for this office? Now, four years ago, you had the office, you walked away from it, and now you want to come back to it. Thank you. And Bill, thank you for, uh, for moderating today, and Katie and, uh, and Parker, I appreciate you taking the time to host this debate. And to NBC10 and to everybody at home tonight watching, I uh, hope this debate helps you make an informed choice in this election. The Treasurer's Office, as you've seen over the last uh, 10 years especially, has become a very important office. And having served there and done a good job there, I know what it takes to move the state forward through the Treasurer's Office. And having been away from elected office for the last four years, I felt as though now was the right time for me to put my qualifications forward and work hard to try and earn the, the support of the people of Rhode Island. That's what I've been doing over the last year. Again, we have big issues in Rhode Island. We have an $8 billion pension fund that needs to be uh, overseen and driven in the right direction. When I was in office, that fund, it outperformed such leading funds like the state of Massachusetts fund, the state of California, even the Harvard and Yale endowment, some of the most uh, respected investors in the world. You know, we outperformed them in Rhode Island when times were poor and when times were good. And I want to take that expertise back to the office. So, Mr. Magaziner, you have not run for any elected office before. Uh, if you wanted to bring your financial skills to bear on a uh, municipal or perhaps a, a local uh, financial situation, wh why start off with a statewide office? Well, thank you, Bill, for having us tonight. Thank you to the viewers at home. Uh, listen, Rhode Island is my home. It's a wonderful place, but we're hurting right now. We have one of the highest unemployment rates in the country. Tens of thousands of Rhode Islanders are out of work. Many more have left the state because they can't find work. And we need change. We need change at the State House. And that treasurer's office can be a very powerful engine for economic growth. I'm running for treasurer because I know that is the place where I can best use my skill set and